I know. One of these days you'll teach me how to use that thing. I know. I, well, this is like my little secret, right? Like, yeah. I, I can't give away all the tricks. I know. It's like you hide it and yeah. it's gone. And on Friday I like couldn't find. We're talking about. Oh, hi, by the way. Hey. Um, DTLT nice you to today. Join us. Happy Monday, everyone. Yeah. So you handled everything fine on Friday. I saw. Well, I mean, I guess I I tried to to do a show that I don't know was somewhat personal and yeah. you know. It, kind of got me right here and hopefully it, it connected with with people out there but I'm also glad now to have somebody to throw some <laughs> stuff back to if I need yeah. to if I get stuck and to um, not have Jim here to tell you how much your topic sucks you know, that's always nice yeah or you know coming in late right the usual things that freedom he, that he does that. Um, we were talking a little bit about the the iPad app yeah. that that Tim uses to uh, to control shots and that sort of thing and I didn't I didn't talk to Tim or ask him how he actually did that so I would have need to would have needed to program that to do all the shots and that sort of thing, and so maybe one of these days I'll yeah. I'll learn how to do that. But uh, yeah. it's definitely I blogged cool. about that and Wirecast picked it up, which That's is right. kind of cool. Yeah. That's right. I'm getting quite a bit of traffic from that. I think uh, we'll so. hopefully make a lot of contributions to Wirecast and the people out there and try to give them some good information. Yeah. But so Tim, what are we talking about today? Today we are talking actually about something that Will Richardson. He tweeted about it, but he blogged about it too. I'll pull up my screen here, so people can, so people can see. Um, he was talking about a school that he would want his kids to go to, and it's actually a school started, not started yet. They're going to start in fall of 2013 by a guy named Steve Goldberg. Uh, it's in the Research Triangle of North uh, North Carolina, mm -hmm. and so, but you know, that's interesting in and of itself. It's one. Of, it's just going to be a middle school. Um, from what I can tell, it's going to be a private school. You have to apply to get in, that kind of thing, which we can get into and talk about because I think that would be interesting. But what I thought was really cool is that Steve is actually blogging his process of how he's teaching his current students. He's teaching at Cary Academy right now, and he's got a uh, website, What I Learned Today. It's wiltoday.wordpress.com. Good old WordPress. Yeah. Um, and what I like about it is, I mean, the blog posts that he puts up there are extremely extensive, but it's sort of like, here's what I'm doing in my class right now. And he's modeling this sort of active learner environment, this type of idea that you can get your students actively engaged right. in the topics that you're talking about. Um, a lot of things that he's been putting up recently are current events type stuff with the stock market, what does it mean when it drops, what is the Dow Jones, asking really good questions and right. sort of saying, let's explore it together. Yeah, one of the things that, that struck me immediately by that post, and, and right now if you look at the site, he's got three different parts mm. to the idea of, of, of the economy and what's going on with the economy right now. But one of I think one of the the neatest things and it's something that that any teacher could start right away with and and that's having the students come up with the questions mm -hmm. you know instead of the teacher being the front and center here's what you will learn today here's the questions that I want you to answer um, he he basically emphasizes and, and and encourages them to come up with their own questions to look through the article yeah. and see about the stuff that they don't know and right. see what the answers are to some of those uh, things like what is the S&P and um, you know, what does a triple-A rating mean and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just reading a book the other day. I'm really way behind on it, Freakonomics, which well, oh, right. I don't know how long ago it came out. Right. But they talked about how one of the biggest process of learning is finding the right question to ask. Mm -hmm. and, so, and I think that's huge here. Um, you're getting people involved by asking the right questions. I don't know if you follow a guy by the name of Dan Meyer. Um, he does math type stuff. Yeah, right. And he That's started right. the any any question or mm -hmm. any cues yep. thing on Twitter. And his idea was um, basically along the same lines. If you can ask the right question mm -hmm. or show them a video to where they're asking the questions about exactly. it, how big did that pool have to be in order for him to dive into it and not hit his head and, and crack right. his skull and right. that kind of thing? Yep. Then they're, they're like, well, we've got to find this out. And then you get into that exploratory part of it. Exactly. Well, I mean, it's just to, to me, you know, it, it allows the students to own their learning. Mm -hmm. You know, they they come up with the things they they own it. They they have that stake in it, and I think that that drives drives it home. You know, the stu whatever the students are interested in, and uh, um, and I don't you know I don't know how much we want to talk about the actual posts and 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 that sort of thing. I, I think it's a it's a neat way to go about it. You know, the what I learned today. It, it but it's it's this whole idea of of reflection and that sort yeah. of thing. 
which I think is really important. It's great um, that he's putting that stuff out in the open for other teachers to pull off of and exactly. say, I could use that in my classroom. I could, you know, you could model exactly what he's doing and have great results for a current current events class or right. something like that, which is awesome. I'd love to know. I, I wish he almost would do sort of a a uh, meta post about the tools that he's using. Yeah, I don't know exactly. if he's using a smart board or maybe an iPad or something. You can see that he's annotating across web pages. Yep. So one of the first things he does is he goes to a newspaper website, Washington Post, New York Times, or maybe CNN.com, right. and he starts circling key topics, words, mm -hmm. things, things where the questions come from. Well, who is that person? Circle their name. We're going to yep. figure out who that person is and that kind of thing. Uh, he's also pulling in YouTube videos when mm -hmm. there's like uh, longitude and latitude coordinates. He said, okay, well, we'll pull those into Google Earth yeah. and see exactly where it is, see if my students know where that actually is. So exactly. you have perspective when you're reading these stories. And I'm as guilty as anyone of reading these things and not really always understanding them. Mm -hmm. You know, you read about the stock market and what's going on with the economy and you go, oh, yeah, the economy's down and this and that or whatever, but you don't really have a full grasp of all the players involved and what's going on with it. Right, right. So, uh, and that always that always reminds me of the idea that um, you know to to be a a citizen of the world these days is yeah. is very difficult. And and I I think people kind of um, don't ever realize or don't ever even talk about the idea that it, it takes a lot to keep up with this stuff. It you know, really it, it, it to to even have a political conversation about you know what this party or that party is doing and not really getting into the politics of it but but you know to have the arguments out there it's really difficult because there is so much to just the economy mm -hmm. and figuring out you know well this does this and it's not always you know a causes b it's a and then all these other factors and that sort of thing and and i what i what i do like to um, you know see him doing is just kind of get the students thinking about what it means to be a citizen mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it get, it comes across i guess as a little bit um, you know, utopian, and and you wonder, in, in certainly in in the situation that he's in with with the, you know, if it's a private school, he can do that to a certain certain extent. How can how much can you do this in a public school? Yeah. Um, how much can you get away with saying we're going to study just about everything in school and not have the school board kind of go crazy or right. the parents go crazy about well, you're teaching my son or daughter what? Well, it goes right back to this idea of standardized testing right. and you know you've got teachers who are are pulled in every direction just to get the basics down of what exactly. needs to be covered on a certain test and they don't have time to open up the Washington Post and worry about what's going on today because they've got to make sure <clears throat> that these kids know what happened 200 years ago because that's what they're getting tested on they're right. not going to get tested on what happened in the Fed last week and that right. you know and I I think back and I it was so long ago I guess first of all but high school and, and remembering back to those days um, the the thing that I always remember the most and enjoying the most was my current events class, mm -hmm. and I don't know if that speaks to the type of person that I am or, right. or whatever. But that was the the cool thing was always kind of seeing what was actually happening, the stuff that you saw on the news that day, and talking about in, that in class, and and being able to to talk with your peers and you know your friends about it. Um, it wasn't artificial. Mm -hmm. You know, you got into this really legitimate discussion and that's you know that's one of the things that I've always um, you know talked about is getting away from this artificial learning you know mm -hmm. putting out these artificial problems to try to solve as opposed to let's look at some real problems and see if we can't come up with solutions to those so I, I really do appreciate his approach um, he also talks about you know emphasizing lifelong learning mm -hmm. um, having a strong sense of community um, students here, here's an interesting one students discover and pursue their own passion mm -hmm. Um, crazy so, talk. Okay, so these are the things going on with the school that he's going to be creating then. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and and that's I mean that's the other thing that's that's interesting about following the you know you you, you get a tweet from somebody and then they show you a web page. Um, what I love to do after that is is kind of dig in deep dig and in see and about see. who this who is this person. Yeah. You know what is what's his background? What other stuff has he done? Follow other links. You know he's got links to um, spouse and that sort of thing and. Um, you really find out, and it's interesting that that all this stuff can even happen these days. You know, mm -hmm. you share these somewhat, you know, intimate uh, portraits of these people, and and you find out more about what they are. But yeah, the the school that he's that he's talking about, this TLC or the uh, 
what is it called? The triangle Learning Community. Triangle Learning Community. Yeah. Um, and there's all the all the stuff is out there. I'm I'm looking at a, a word document that's mm -hmm. this uh, kind of 16 page proposal, and uh, just some really interesting stuff. Um, again, it, it 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 makes me kind of wonder whether this could be something that that a public school could even attempt these days, especially with the the testing um, kind of emphasis. But well, uh, and I mean, I. I don't want to guess like you know his reasoning, uh, but I worry about these approaches where it's like I feel like I've got these great methods for learning, these great methods of teaching. This is what I would want for my kids, so I'm going to go start a private school yeah, right. where these kids can go to, and it, it's clearly a very select group of kids. It's mm -hmm. only going to be a middle school, only sure. for certain years. By ninth grade, they're going back into the public school system, right. and you know, small handful, maybe 20 students total that are going to go into the school system, system I call it, mm -hmm. you know, and I just, I wonder about that process because it's, you know, it's this idea that we can cultivate and nurture this select group of kids, but everybody else, you know, screw them. Yeah, I mean, that in itself is kind of artificial, yeah. you know, it's, it, and, and you wonder whether that can be, and you, I guess maybe he's hoping that, that the students will kind of infect this, the public school population and maybe turn things around. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I mean, if I was a student and I came out of this into ninth grade in a public school system, I'd be frustrated. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I would come into that and go, seriously, we're doing what right. in high school? Yeah, where's, you want me to... where's my Wall Street Journal? I right. Need, I, need to, <laughs> I need to start learning from this instead of, instead of from this book that you gave me. So, yeah. yeah. And, and I think what we, what we can do is kind of take the, some of the positive things out of this and, and apply them in virtually any place. We do th some of that stuff here at Mary Washington, mm -hmm. but um, he talks specifically about, you know, project-based learning. Yeah. Um, he talks specifically about blogging for reflection. Um, and, and that kind of stuff, it, it, at a very minimum level, we can kind of infuse, I think, in, in any of these kinds of situations and mm -hmm. encourage students to, to do that. One of the things that, that struck me about about this, and I'm, I don't have my timer, so I think we've got a couple more minutes. We've got a few minutes, yeah. Um, he talks a little bit, and, and maybe I, let me just bring up the, the document again just to see, but he talks about some of the different areas that um, he wanted to cover, and um, he actually gives a, there's a, ske a schedule that he sets out. He talks about the, you know, the, the community meeting to start with, the morning session, they talk about math and that, and that sort of thing, but he gets to a, a point where he, he wants to figure out what stuff they're going to um, use for assessment and, and other things, and other feedback and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that I found missing that I started to think about was, was this idea of, of socializing. Mm -hmm. One of the things that students go to school for in, in many ways, you know, for no other reason in some cases, is to go and socialize. Yeah. Um, and he kind of com he covers everything else in terms of what students should do and participating participating in a community and that sort of thing. But um, there isn't any emphasis emphasis in socialization, and I wonder where that where that fits in. And I it, it I don't know it, it I might have read it a different t at a different time and and not have even thought about something like that. But yeah. I wonder how much we want to build into the curriculum the idea of socializing and whether they whether students would want to do it on their own anyway yeah. and wouldn't want to be told okay now it's time to socialize whether that's artificial but just something that struck struck me that I wondered you know could this be put into a cur curriculum somehow yeah and I would love to see his model of the what I learned today website mm -hmm. spread out to all of his teachers where all of the teachers involved in this triangle learning community and maybe even the students absolutely I mean if you've got you know, seventh, eighth grade students who are blogging their process of mm -hmm. learning alongside right. the teacher saying, this is what I'm trying to do with them. And you've got that whole community community doing that out in the open. That's where I think you can get the advantage of that private school out in the open right. for everybody else to appreciate and benefit from. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, so. I think uh, I think that's right on. And, and been thinking about, and I, I debated about talking about this on on Friday, but I really wanted to have at least one other person to kind of bounce bounce ideas off. Of. But right. uh, I think this is a, a great find by you, and and uh, um, it, it, it certainly fits in kind of well with what we're doing. And uh, hope other people can kind of enjoy the stuff that's at, that was uh, you know pointed to in this article. And um, I encourage you to, to kind of dig behind the scenes. One, one other thing I w did want to mention was this, the screencast that he did. He used Google Earth. Okay. Um, real nice lesson plan. It was just a simple, starting with a simple image of, of, a, uh, 
a ship that was like cut in half mm -hmm. um, and split apart. And it was like, well, where do they do this kind of ship, uh, you know, decommissioning or whatever? Mm -hmm. And so it got into the idea of, well, it takes place in, in uh, Pakistan or India or, you know, a, a place other than the United States. And, right. um, you know, they take these big ships apart and, and, you know, because of labor costs. And so it really can provide this kind of rich lesson yeah. um, that that you can go to different places and, and you know, use the technology that we have uh, at our fingertips to do. So That's great. Well, the website is wiltoday.wordpress.com. I'm going to put it in the show notes, so definitely check that out. Keep an eye on that, and here's hoping that, you know, schools like that will open up not just in the private sector, but we'll see more and more teachers engaging their students in these ways in the future. So. Exactly. All right, Andy. All right. Thanks, Tim. All right, bye. Nice job. See you guys.